And so in this video, we're going to actually add the special effects. So just go back to your sequencer and go to the beginning. So click here and I'm going to turn off the camera here just so I can see. And I'm going to zoom to pretty much where I see. And one of the things I may want to identify is where is there like loud beats in my song or something that may want me to have an explosion or something or some kind of a, uh, effects show up and it should build up towards the end and have way more effects at the end that would be the smart thing okay so just press space bar or press uh play and let's see okay we turn off the camera right now so you know we might want to have a camera on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see here at the clap and then there's a synth that comes in at about the 5.5 second mark. Okay, so I'm going to go and get some special effects and I'm going to drag them in. And so there's two spots. So in my um, starter content under... Um, looking for it here particles that's where it is so what I'm going to do is give this a color so that I can identify it like pink and it stands out and I'm going to go and I'm going to keep maybe there's this like thing here that comes in now the first thing you're going to want to do when you bring in an effect is go and deactivate it because by default they're always auto activated so I'm going to turn this off and I will turn it on in my timeline. Now, maybe I want many of this. So what I'm going to do is press the Alt key and, and just drag it out. Press the W key. So you can see this red arrow, press the Alt key and I can move it around. And maybe I want there to be like fireworks all over the stage at this point. And maybe I want it to... Okay, so that's quite a few here, and I may want to put these in a folder if I want them to activate all at the same time. So how do I do that again? Uh, is there a button? All right here. So I'll go Sparks. Okay, so I'm going to just see if I drag the folder in, will it work in Unreal? Okay. Because part of the thing is you have to drag these effects in. So I'll drag them in like this. So they are, there they all are. So I'll be able to toggle them. Oh, I didn't, it creates them one at a time. So one of the things that you have to do is you have to create a FX toggle track for each one of these. Okay. And I'm going to have them all be deactivated at the beginning. And so let's start my thing and let's see, let's double check to make sure I got it right. Make sure I deactivate it from the beginning. And if I just press play and I go to the beginning here and press play, nothing should come on at this point. Second mark. So this is about where I said I wanted to activate them. So I'm going to go down here now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate all of them. Activate, activate, activate. I might want to leave them activate, but I can deactivate them, of course. And let's see. Now, I did make a mistake here. I forgot to keyframe them as deactivated over here. So let's fix that right away. So whenever I tell it, to I have to tell it I'm deactivating this at this point. I'm deactivating it this at the beginning I'm deact so you got to do this for each one because you, you got to tell it exactly what you want it to do and I missed this one here so and then at this 5.5 second mark this is where I'm going to activate and you see it, it automatically knows to create a keyframe I'm going to activate this one oops activate activate and activate now i don't even know if this looks good i didn't even check so 
So I can deactivate them at this point. Let's see what happens. And so they'll turn off. You could keep them on. I'm just showing you that you can do this. And maybe I get it another. So there's a bunch in that particle folder. So under starter content, the other area is under this polygon nature. I'm going to give this a green color just because uh, this is where a lot of our assets and environment come from. And under effects, I'm going to give this the green color. I always give it the color because then when you go look, you know where to go. There's there's a butterflies that will fly through the whole scene. And you see there's already some of them there. Maybe I want more. And you can leave those on the whole time, by the way, because I think they just look cool. Um, maybe I want it to start snowing. So I'm going to drag that in here. And I don't know how much of an effect that does overall so let's go and it's on automatically remember when you drag something in so what i'm going to do is press play from the beginning. um oh well it'll probably help if i dragged it into the plate now that is a must you have to drag it in here or else it won't work whoops do that let's drag it right here there's the snow and it should automatically be on let's toggle track turn that on let's just activate it from the beginning and let's see And maybe it doesn't work so well. And that's kind of part of it. There's a, there's a couple of cool ones in here. There's black smoke start showing up. I'm just going to put one in. And I'm going to deactivate that one right away. So let's do that. Auto. And I'm going to not have it activate. And I'm going to activate it here. So same thing. I need to drag the smoke in. And I'm going to create an FX toggle track. I'm going to deactivate, press here. And at about this point, I'm going to click activate. So from now on, this will be there. So let's see what that looks like in. Now, one thing you need to probably do is let's see what it looks like with the cameras actually turned on. Now, for some reason, my smoke is, in a, is activated the whole time. And I thought I had turned it off. I might, maybe I have two smokes there by accident. So let's double check that. The snow I'm going to delete because it didn't work. So it doesn't cause any confusion. So this is supposed to be deactivated. So let's go to the beginning and keyframe it as deactivated. Maybe it didn't register so when I start again you know and like one thing I can show you too is under the starter content under particles this explosion is pretty cool at the end. So I'm going to drag one in here. And you can, by the way, W-E-R and make it even bigger if you want. So just be aware of that. Um, and so what I'm going to do is drag the explosion in. Did that work? No, I don't think it worked. Let me do it again here. And I'll do the same thing. FX toggle track turned on and the explosion I'm going to deactivate I'm also going to make sure that it's not auto activated and go to the beginning right here maybe at the end or something and 
One thing that I'm not sure of is I might need to place it differently. So where's my explosion? So I'm going to go deactivate. And then right here at the end, activate. Now, I may need to move it. Press escape here. Where did I put the explosion? Press on it. Press the F key. Okay, so just turn this off or else it won't work. Press the F key. Where did I put the explosion? So it must be this one here. No. No. Because I got so many, I got to figure out which one's the right one here. There's the explosion. So I'm going to move this using the W key, put it back here. Maybe move it forward more. And I want it near the character's head so that when it blows up, we see it. Just let me move this because it's too far. Put it right behind here. And I think that's the correct one. So let's just see if it works. Is it activated? I thought I had already taken care of this. So let's deactivate it here. And over here. Let's go and see what that looks like in my camera. So I add a whole bunch of effects. It's really cool. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Play around, add a bunch of effects. Makes your character and your dance so much more interesting. Go ahead and have fun.